In a quiet Sydney suburb, a high school student's homemade radio picks up an eerie repeating signal, uncharacteristic of earthly interference. The pulse, recorded at 1420 megahertz, the hydrogen line frequency, matches patterns of neutron star emissions. Amateur radio logs reveal it's not from known satellites or pulsars. Could this be an undiscovered cosmic phenomenon? The student's notebook fills with timestamps and spectral sketches, marking the beginning of an interstellar mystery. At Sydney University's observatory, an astrophysics professor analyzes the signal. The waveform's 11.7 second interval and Doppler shift confirm it's from a neutron star 13,000 light years away, now a black hole. Its final pulse, emitted when mammoths still roamed Earth, just reached us. The professor explains, this is a gravitational wave echo, a star's death cry distorted by space-time. Spectral data shows heavy elements like gold in the emission, evidence of a kilonova explosion. The student realizes this signal crossed space for millennia, outlasting civilizations, ice ages, and human evolution. Astrophysical journals reveal such posthumous pulses are rare, only three recorded since 2008. Each waveform carries data about the star's collapse, encoding secrets of nuclear physics. On a rooftop, the student listens through noise-canceling headphones, hearing a sound likened to a dying heartbeat. A 20 hertz hum shifted to audible range. The student live streams the signal on citizen science platforms. Within hours, dead star whisper trends globally. Radio telescopes from parks to Chile confirm it's authentic a time capsule from a 1.4 solar mass star. Astrophysicists note its rapid frequency decay indicates a glitch before collapse, offering new insights into magnetar behavior. As the signal fades, millions worldwide experience a visceral connection to deep time, proving amateur science can bridge cosmic eras.